Welcome back. The road to update eight continues and we are going to continue making progress with a blueprint. This blueprint's gonna be for cooling systems. We're gonna use the alternate cooling device which means we need heat sinks, which we just made in a previous video, and motors, which we just made 600 motors per minute in a previous video. And then we have our nitrogen gas facility. So we're all set. So let's make this blueprint to make our cooling devices. All right, so we're gonna go down the line and we're gonna go down the line. And I know you're thinking, hey, you're only having one item. Why do you have two? It'll make sense in a minute. And since this recipe requires nitrogen gas, we're going to include, I mean, we really don't have room for another one of these. I mean, they just won't fit, right, in the blueprint. So we'll just uh, side saddle a nice little packager here. like that and this thing's gonna take our package nit nitrogen gas and turn it into nitrogen gas in an empty fluid tank so then we need this guy to come down here All right, those pieces are all set. Now, directionally, I think we'll keep everything. I think we'll send it to the opposite side. So this side, we're gonna go this way, but the inputs are gonna come in this way. We need splitters for supplies. And I guess knowing now that we're gonna have go like that. Why did this thing turn on me? So the only complication that we have is that on the upper level, we're gonna have to switch this, right? Currently, the nitrogen gas is gonna come in on the top, but if we change directions, that might change. So let's keep building. Uh, we're gonna put in a nice basic wall Four high. Can I make it like an extra cool wall? And then we'll put in a foundation. And I think for stylistic purposes, we'll make it a glass foundation. And 
let's put in a nice clean window. Full frame window. jump over here and put it in on this side. We're running out of steel. I bet we've got a little bit of steel in here we could use. got the basics in place. Let's do some power. Power, we're going to use a Mark II just to give ourselves some flexibility. And we're going to start here, here, and here. And then we're going to put in some organizational lighting. go all the way. Let's squeeze in a ceiling light if we can. You're trying to tell me we don't have wire on us? Hold on. You get so excited about making the video, you forget to, you need to have the stuff to make the video. You know, having wire is kind of a requirement. ceiling light if we can fit it partially overlapping the designer encroaching on clearance wow it really doesn't want me to put a ceiling light in here all right we'll do without it floodlights are get us floodlights will get it done and we'll put this guy here this one here. The goal here is to have these two lights on separate circuits because we want to have individual control. Alright, so then so that's our power. We'll connect it to the upstairs here in a second. If we look at this, we need 45 nitrogen gas per minute. If we look at here, we want to output 45 nitrogen gas per minute. That's simple. So then the nitrogen gas comes out of this one. I suppose we need a perfectly placed pipe. No, 
Nice. Remember, this is nitrogen gas, so we don't have to deal with any pumps. So that 45 gas comes out of here, goes up here, drops in there, and then it'll also connect upstairs to our next level. Everything comes in this direction and out this direction. In order for this to be a stackable blueprint, we're going to do this all over again, but mirror imaged. Problem is, is you have a grid on one half, but not the other half. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Normally I would use blueprints to make blueprints, but this is just one click too high. That looks like it needs to be a little closer. Yep, that's it. So the output comes out this direction. And then something happens. And then it gets connected here. Speaking of which, let's see how many... Oh, 3.75 output per... Yeah, we can easily put this on one belt. And that's... over 200 per minute in order for that to be a problem. All right, so we got that one done. Let's get this packager in the place. Really? Packager goes right next to it. could be in trouble here. This game might not let us build a roof. Okay. About to say, it's going to be rough. Now we need to make this pipe connect.
Uh oh. And then here we'll say unpack that nitrogen gas. Give it to us at the rate of 45 per minute. And get this nitrogen gas right into here. Probably want something like that. Let's see, this direction is out that that way, so we're gonna go the opposite direction. I'm gonna snake the inputs and the outputs throughout the entire factory. Goodness. Sorry. Got to use splitters. Split the supplies, please. So the supplies go in this direction out this direction, then come up, and then go in the direction, out this direction. Okay, great. And then we'll connect you to here, and you to here, and you to here. Now, this is the other part I wanted to think through. On this bottom level, the top part is connected. But when it comes through here, the top here becomes the bottom here. So we need to switch this belt. Like that. Right? So you see what I'm saying? So if I go, if I have anything coming in from this direction on the top of this splitter stack, and then if it comes in, because we're gonna have to lift this, we won't lift it here, but we'll lift it in a vertical service layer. It's just so you can see what I'm saying. So if it comes in here, it's gonna have to hit this first one. So there's room for the other ones, which means it's gonna be at the bottom. So whatever's at the top needs to be at the bottom. And then the verse is also true because if we're coming out this way, then we have to hit the front. Right, we gotta hit the first lift hole here. Which means it needs to come in at the top, which is the top here. Perfect. That'll make more sense next video. Don't worry about it. All right.
Oh, we need to paint and window this side. All right, that's looking good. Come down here and we'll get some power set up. I planned on that being straight, but I kind of like it. Mount some floodlights. everything to power. Yeah, I gotta remember, what did I do here? Right is close, this is light, left is machines. I think I'm going to regret this design choice. But we'll see. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, everything's coming in. We just want to make sure we've set all our, re our recipes. Yeah, cooling system. alternate recipe on this one. We want to make nitrogen gas. Same thing right here. All right. So there you go. Straightforward blueprint, cooling system. Really, it's a blender design. We're going to see some vertical panels here and we're ready to go. Just want to double check and make sure we connected our pipes. And the reason why I'm connecting these together is just so, you know, just in time gas delivery is nice, but you don't want it to be totally and completely dependent. Oh, almost forgot this section right here. So that goes down the line that way. And this comes back this way. And it S's down into here, goes down that way. And this one comes up and then S's in that way. 
So everything is snaking through. That gives us plenty of room. We won't have to do any crazy lifts where we've got things connected on the side of a crazy merger or a splitter. It'll just be two floor holes connected. Three floor holes connected. Yeah, we're done. Last step, always, 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 and I'm gonna say it one more time, always make sure that you save your blueprint. Cooling device. Well, this is cooling system alt device. And save. All right, we'll make we'll make use of this blueprint in our next video. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.